I replied to this other Craigslist ad uh, that said, uh, looking for a magician's assistant. Uh, and I thought, well, that's just fun. Uh, but my first, the first question I asked in the email, the first, and I think the only thing that I asked is, does the assistant have to be female? Or can we just like open our minds and this be like a really like fun thing? Uh, like, can I be the first male? Ma I, don't, I don't know if I would be the first male magician's assistant, but I, I, I was like, oh, maybe I'll, I'll get a job and make some history while I'm at it. Um, <laughs> so I, I, rep I, I, and he writes back like, no, uh, very like choppy sentences. Uh, like, no, that's okay, meet me for an interview, and then like uh, the address of a, a cafe in Soho. Um, and then I go into the cafe, uh, and then I realized, oh, I don't know what this magician looks like. Uh, but then I see a gentleman in all black and a fedora. Uh, and I think, oh, okay, good. Um, so I, I sit down with him, and he's with this uh, woman who's just sort of like, her face, her face was just, just grumpy. She, she was just like either bored or tired. She was just like, uh, and not saying, and she, she I, I like said hi to her and then like, I, we never got introduced, but like she, I never got an, her name or anything. She was just like there. Uh, and the, um, the magician, uh, the first thing he says is, I am not magician. Um, and it was like, well, um, uh-huh. <laughs> Please do go on. Uh, and he, he has this very, um, he's a little surly, but he's very, uh, you, can, you can tell that he's like, translating from his native language a lot. So he's, he sounds very pensive and he's just taking his time with every sentence. He goes, I am not a magician. I am a saxophone player. <laughs> and, and I'm thinking, well, clearly you know the name for the thing you do. So why not looking for a saxophone player assistant? Like why, why? Why are we hiding that you're a saxophone player? That's okay. Uh, in fact, I guarantee more and better responses <laughs> than a magician's assistant. Like, I'm the only one, like, stupid and weird enough to reply to a magician's assistant ad. But if you're like a saxophone player, like, a lot of people would, wouldn't mind doing that. Um, but he's just like, I am a saxophone player. I'm like, okay. He's like, I have a saxophone, I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Um, great, you're not like renting. Uh, I'm, I'm a, I have a saxophone. And I play at parties. Like, okay. People are laughing, people are having fun. It is uh, a wedding, it is a retirement. Uh, it's a birthday, they're having fun, I am playing the saxophone. <laughs> they're laughing, I keep playing saxophone, any song, Madonna. <laughs> they're laughing, and then Dick comes out. <laughs> I was like, um, why? It's like, why? You just said that people were already having fun. These people are at a retirement party, you just said. And then Dick comes out. It doesn't seem like anyone was asking for Dick to come out. 
Um, and he goes, no, no, no. I have a special saxophone. I push a button. And from the hole in the saxophone, uh, like a dick, plastic dick comes out. <laughs> and from the dick, tequila, vodka, and people laugh, they drink. Um, and I'm still like a little hung up on like, why magician's assistant? <laughs> um, it's just a lie after a lie after a lie. Um, and I was like, well, okay. And then his wife interrupts for the first time. She hasn't said anything. She leans over and she sort of like sees me becoming less and less interested in the job. She leans over and she goes, only saxophone in the world that can do this. <laughs> she is, I think, sick and tired of defending this man. <laughs> He's like, I believe in him, he made it. The dick comes out, I'm sick and tired of explaining it to everyone what my husband does. Um, and I, I asked like, well, what would I do? What do you need me for? <laughs>